So Adams 12 Five Star Schools has approximately 50 schools, not including our charters, um, and roughly 38,000 students in the district. Or the middle schools that we rolled out the seventh grade computer science curriculum to, there's 11 of those. 12 actually with our new one, including our K-8. Yeah. I was tasked with building a K-12 computer science pathway for our district. So we knew that we were preparing kids for ninth grade computer science, specifically AP computer science principles. We had built our eighth grade course. We knew the standards and the, the rigor of that course. And so as we looked at the CSTA standards, we picked the ones that we felt would be necessary and appropriate at the seventh grade level to build that pathway down and prepare kids then for the eighth grade course that we'd already developed. We were looking at what's the best way to address the standards, particularly the ones that relate to troubleshooting hardware, and we knew that we need something more than a computer to do that. And so as we started looking at both the standards and our budget and the tools that are out on the market currently, we decided that the micro bit would be our best bet, both in part because of the price point and the functionality and also because of the potential for a partnership with Spark Fun and the support we would get in designing the curriculum and especially the professional development for our teachers as well. Um, but so they, they came up from elementary school being able to type and then in middle school the expectation was okay you have those skills uh, and now collaborate with it, produce stuff with it, you know use applications. But what we really have come to realize in the last two to three years is that um, the exploration of Read Write Web, the exploration of the combination of science with technology as far as the, the coding and what it can produce, it was absent from our curriculum. I would say that the partnership with Spark Fund was really instrumental to the creation of the learning progression that we made. You know, we'd already unpacked the standards, we already knew how we wanted to group those standards. Um, and once we established the tool, we really needed a lot of help in, in figuring out what the best approach would be to teach with that tool and meet the standards because none of us were as familiar with the tool as we would have liked to be as we're creating district-wide curriculum. So it was really great to have people at Spark Fund who have taught with the micro bit, who have taught kids with the micro bit, help guide us both in, in what equipment would be helpful to purchase to meet the standard in terms of the accessories to go with the micro bit, as well as which types of lessons or activities would be good to teach first, um, second, third, et cetera, to, to sort of scaffold that learning for students and to help prepare them. One of the things that I definitely appreciate about Derek and Jeff was it was near the end of the summer. We were getting together and they came in to give us some really constructive feedback and some really needed encouragement was huge. So I was able to walk in with my head high, Rocky theme behind me, feeling like, I got this, this is awesome. And for me to walk in like that and to tell my kids that, and for them, to, and I, you know, like, you have no idea what we're doing, how cool is this? And then they start getting excited that it's so palpable, this zeal for learning in this room. And so I definitely think that working with Spark Fun has been immeasurably helpful with that. It's like hands-on. Like last year it was all on our Chromebooks and we basically had to do it on our Chromebook all the time. This is now like all hands-on. I, I like that a lot better. Other classes where they might just be programming, they're definitely engaged, but they'll start to lose engagement, but the ability for them to have something tactile and get up and move around because the micro bit's little and they get to take it with them it's because it's mobile, it just helps that engagement be higher. Almost everything I've done coding was on my computer, but this is like, I actually get a hold of what I coded and do stuff with it and not just like digitally. I really believe that by the time they're getting into eighth grade, when they're doing their Naviance lessons around, you know, what do you want your career to be, as if they know really when they're 13 or 14, but um, so many more kids are having conversations about out-of-the-box careers rather than this is what I've seen on TV or my community or my family or whatever is, are these careers, so I'm just gonna go do that. Because of this class and their experience in computer science and using micro bits, they are seeing that there are career possibilities that aren't even imagined yet that they could create. They already love coding, right? They love that, but I think um, it helps them see just how cool it is, right? That they're so used to looking at a screen. We're a one-to-one -one school, so they look at screens all the time. For them to get out of the screen, to tangibly see what they're making and how it works, I think that's the part that is just blowing their minds.